because he's tender hearted towards us, because he loves us, and because he is gentle. We must be gentle by the example, but also by the spirit of the living God living in us, because we can't do that with our flesh on our own. We must rely on the Holy Spirit to be gentle because we cannot be gentle alone because it's the character and the nature of God in us that allows us to do it. And if you don't have God in you by allowing him in you through Jesus, then your gentleness, not to say that it ain't real, but it may not come from a place of humbleness. Because you know, you have to be humble to be gentle to help others. You gotta be humble to understand how to help others without judging. You gotta be humble to understand that I can be kind to you even though you're not kind to me. Because if you're not, you better watch out. Your kindness may just be coming from a place of, of intention, bad intention, or it could be coming from a place of, of ego, not humbleness. There's a difference. That's why I say the standard of gentleness through God's eyes is different than what the world. The world will be gentle with you as long as you're singing their song. The world will be gentle with you as long as you're wearing their clothes. The world will be gentle with you as long as you have on pounds of their makeup, pounds of their fake hair, pounds of their fake nails, pounds of their fake shoes, pounds of their perfume, pounds of, of their look. To be a carbon copy of this world and to be kind because the world is telling you be kind to people for reasons other than humbleness is a true kindness from God because then you'll change it up when you get mad at them. We'll change it up every time. Well, I was nice with you yesterday, but I can be nice with you today. I can't be too nice. Then you'll take it for granted. That's what humans like to say, right? I've heard people say that. Is that God's way? Is that the scripture we just read in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 when he says, be kind, tenderhearted, loving one another? forgiving one another just as God has forgiven us is that a condition did he say only un under certain conditions I don't think he did I didn't read it now some of those overly translated versions of the Bible might have changed that up but it's not in the King James I don't even think it's in the translated version I was being facetious hallelujah we must be kind, we must love, and we must forgive if we want to do it the way God wants us to do it. Loving, being kind, and tenderhearted without condition, without the ability to say, I was kind to you and this is how you treat me, that's not holy kindness. Being kind to somebody because you want them to do something for you, that's not holy kindness. Doing something because you want somebody to give you attention because you feel a little awful about yourself today, so you're gonna be kind to get somebody's attention, it's not holy boldness, I'm sorry, holy gentleness gentleness from God when you following through the example of Christ Jesus comes with a humble heart it comes with a forgiving heart and a loving heart even when you ain't getting it back being kind when you ain't being treated that way that's from God that's the nature the fruit of the Spirit is the character of Jesus and that's what we need the character of Jesus this 10-day series is teaching us how to be like Jesus it ain't about me it ain't about you it ain't about no fruit it is about being like Jesus and we can't do that without him in us and you be able to receive him in you by reading his word by spending time with him by nurturing what he put in you by feeding that and by not feeding your flesh because your flesh will have you eaten on YouTube all day your flesh will have you eaten on TikTok all day your flesh will have you eaten on trying to get somebody's attention so you get them to buy you a dinner or get them to have sex with you or get them to drink with you but let me tell you something. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We must rebuke the earth by saying, I will not allow you to take my attention today. I will give this to God. I will talk to Jesus instead of running to my phone when I first wake up. So I can learn how to be gentle.